Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Janae Rochelle from Leave It To Mom. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. So in today's video, we will be doing a clean with me and undecorate. So we'll be taking down all of the Christmas decorations around the house. There weren't that many this year, so it wasn't a lot to do, but it did lead into a more of a deep clean. But as you guys can see, there was a lot of leftover trash and stuff from Christmas that we will be tackling in this video today. So if you are looking for some motivation to get up and clean and refresh your space for the new year, then this is definitely the video for you. I will also be having some upcoming videos, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel clicking that bell and making sure your post notifications are on and without further ado let's go ahead and get cleaning all right you guys so to get started we are going to go ahead and just take care of the dishes that i left here on the counter overnight um, i am going to start trying to do my best to get the dishes done the night before so that there is nothing to wash the next day Usually I will just sit them on the side and then I will wash them and then let them dry and then put them away in the evening. But I have for the last couple of days been making sure that the kitchen is completely clean and cleared and I've been enjoying that. So I'm trying to keep that up. Let me know if you prefer a completely clean kitchen or you don't mind washing dishes in the morning. Let me know down in the comments. So if this is your first time to my channel, as you've seen, that was my six-year-old son, Reyes. Um, I have two older boys, Michael, who is 14, and Jalen, who is 15. And we are a super busy family of five. Um, my husband is always at work, so you will see him from time to time. But usually it's just me and the boys here at home. Um, or just me because my kids play sports so if they're not home, they are probably at practice or at a game so um yeah so if this is your first time ever coming across any of my videos i just wanted to kind of let you guys know like who we are and what i do here so over here on my channel i do cleaning motivation um diys also, I love decorating for the holidays, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So I will say that this process did turn into a definite deep clean um as you've seen i pulled out the stove and also the refrigerator to clean behind there and i just gave it a good sweeping and i found some like red syrup of some kind i think it is from like the nestle strawberry syrup um, that spilled underneath the refrigerator you'll see that in just a moment um, so I had to use some cleaning products in a little spatula to get that up. So here you'll see that syrup that I was just telling you guys about and it was thick you guys i am so happy that i was able to get it up in it that it did not dye my floor so my sprayer actually was not working so i had to just pour it on top of this the mess and i just let that sit for a couple of minutes just to kind of let the product work for a bit and then i went back in and I tried to scrape it, but it was not budging. So I went in with a little bit more. And as you can see, this is just so thick. So I just used the spatula and I just was able to just get right under it and scoop it right up. And I just wiped the rest of the residue away off the floor. At this point, I thought it was going to stain, but look at that. No staining. So this is completely awesome it is an awesome spray from the 99 cent store um that is usually where i get a lot of my products 
Um, I want to try to go back to the Mrs. Myers products. Um, I just haven't made it to Target yet, you guys. So now I'm just going to give a quick mop to this area before I move the appliances back into their spots. And I'm using my O Cedar mop and I actually got a second brush um, attachment to this mop. I actually love this mop. I use this mop for my floors and also for my walls because my lower back um, sometimes hurts. So this really helps to get up high areas. And yeah, I really, really love it. The only thing that I don't enjoy about this mop is the part where it, you spin the mop to wring it out. Um, sometime wears out, like the grommets wear out, so you have to replace it. I've had to replace the Cedar mop. I think this is my second one. Um, but other than that, I like it. Doesn't matter where we go and destination or no. I don't care where the motor stops. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Yeah, I want it. Oh, I want it. Let's go. Look around, where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life. Hit me with it right now. I'm in it. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Yeah, I want it. Oh, I want it. Let's go. And I won't look back. Yeah, I don't care about the bad shit. I just went ahead and took off all the knobs off the stove and just gave it a good wipe down on the top something actually melted on my glass surface top so I am gonna have to go in later on and use my razor I just could not find my razor anywhere I tried to use the spatula but that didn't work so I'm definitely gonna have to use the razor to get that up but other than that I just gave this a quick wipe down with my um, multi-purpose spray and that work just fine and then I also like to go over my stove with the stainless steel cleaner this stuff is amazing it gets your appliances nice and shiny and I also love using it on my faucets in my bathroom And if you're wondering about these towels that I am using, these are just microfiber towels. You get them in a big bundle at Home Depot. I can't remember how much. If I find them, I will try to link them down in the description box for you guys down below if you're interested. So now we're going to turn our focus over to the blinds in the kitchen. These definitely do get pretty dirty being that the sink is right here and also it's the kitchen so it'll pick up like the grease from cooking and all of that. And um, I'm looking for an easier way to clean these blinds. These are really large blinds. These are ones that we have all throughout the house and if there is definitely an easier way please let me know down in the comment section that would be a huge help because i hate taking these down every single time and trying to wash them i am very small and these things are so heavy so if you guys know of any other way to clean blinds that are really big let me know down in the comments thanks As I was cleaning the blinds, I looked over and I noticed that my cabinets needed a quick wipe down as well since we were pretty much going all in in the kitchen today um, and getting everything all refreshed. So I just went ahead and used my all purpose spray here as well. And I also wiped the inside of the cabinets. I did not realize how grimy they were in the inside. 
So um, I went ahead and wiped those down as well. And I didn't show all of the cabinets getting wiped down, but I definitely did all of the cabinets. The only thing that I did not wipe down is the microwave. by just taking down all of the christmas decorations from the centerpiece that i had up for christmas it's so sad that everything is going down so early usually i leave everything up through new year's but i just wanted a nice fresh space going into the new year so i decided to take down everything early this year um it was a definite rush to get everything up but um i will plan much better next year A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so and new, somewhere I can find myself So moving on over to the coffee bar, this was by far my most favorite part of the decorating um, was just really getting creative with this space and utilizing the lattice that we put up. Um, it just turned out perfect and it served its purpose within this space and I just loved how it turned out. I cannot wait for next year to decorate this area. Um, I'm just really excited so I'm kind of sad that it is going but I am going to be refreshing this area once I am done taking everything down. And I don't know about you but my kids always love to just like talk to me like when I'm filming and I'm just like I have no idea what you're talking about especially my little one.
So now it is time to refresh the space. So I picked the pumpkin up from Falling Prices for a dollar, you guys. A lot of the stuff that they do have at Falling Prices is um, from like Target. So I seen these pumpkins in the Target dollar spot before and they were like $5 a piece or something like that. And I'm glad I waited because I was able to get two for $2. <laughs> so um, if you do have a falling prices in your area, make sure to go check them out. Um, so yeah, I just revamped that space. I absolutely love how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below. So here I am just um, sorting out the decorations that I took down from around the house. And here I'm just keeping this garland. So I'm just gonna wrap this one up, but I'm just gonna be removing the ornaments that were on here because some of them did um, fall apart. And I'll just be disposing of those ones. But I am gonna be having a DIY very soon um, using that garland. At least that's the idea, um, but in regards to this decor, I don't know if I'm going to be using it again next year or um, if I'm going to be changing the colors. Um, I usually change out the colors like every other year, so we will see. A lot of these items were new this year, um, especially the stuff for the cocoa bar. So um, I'll probably end up reusing that stuff and incorporating a little bit more color instead of red but um, we will see. I am going to definitely be planning out just kind of how I want everything to look for next year. So once again, make sure you guys are subscribed and have that bell click so that you're notified of when I upload content. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know there were a lot of parts that did not get filmed. I completely apologize for that. Um, but I hope you guys got the gist of the video of just getting the home refreshed, clean, and getting the holiday decorations down. So I am just going to finish um, sorting all of these and get these put away. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.